Welcome to the Builder's Risk Outlook. I'm Alan Ferguson, President of U.S. Assure. As we close out what was a phenomenal year for construction in 2021, we're really focusing on three key areas as we begin to enter 2022. Really, we're looking at those three key areas around the demand for new homes. The big question there is, will it hold up? Will the lackluster performance contractors had in the early 2000s that's led to this demand and continue to increase as we move forward in 2022? Certainly, we're concerned about supply chain issues and skilled labor shortages. Will contractors be able to keep up with that demand and will we as customers accept the delays associated with those supply chain issues. The third thing we're really going to focus on, which is independent of the first two variables, is inflation. And we're going to talk a little bit about what we see relating the con consumer price index to what we call the producer price index and the impact they can have on each other going forward. A good place to start as we consider these three variables is probably the September real estate numbers. Typically a lackluster month for home building construction, these numbers seem to tell us that housing and the demand for housing is here to stay. New home sales soared in September, which is a great indicator that builders have found ways not only to deal with those shortage of building materials, but also that shortage of labor that exists in today's market. Sales of completed homes increased to roughly a 507,000 unit pace, which is a six month high in 2021, and new homes for sale at the end of the month remained steady at roughly 380,000. Those inventory gains mostly are related to homes that have not yet been started or are currently under construction. Approximately 105,000 homes that are up for sale in today's market have yet to be started, which is the highest since 2006. This is certainly an indication that while demand is there, supply side issues are delaying those projects. However, we see underlying demand remaining strong and buyers seem unfazed by the overall lack of completed homes. Indication of demand that we see last month is roughly sales of new homes of homes not started rose 27% at an annual pace of 237,000. Some indication of supply side improvements, though subtle, is that builders are raising prices at a slightly lower or slightly slower rate. During September, the median home price was up about 18.7 over the year compared to 23.3 the prior month. The third area for focus for us in 2022 is really gonna be the impact of inflation. As we look at inflation, we're gonna talk about the relationship between the two inflationary measures that impact our economy. One is a consumer price index. We're all familiar with the CPI, as that's the value that we as consumers place on the goods that we purchase on a daily basis. These are things like gasoline, milk at the grocery store, uh, consumables such as meat, dairy products, whatever the case may be. The producer price impact is something that's a little bit different, and that's the measure of inflation from the perspective of those people that produce the goods and services that we consume. Ultimately, what we expect to happen, as both have risen throughout 2021, we expect to see some settling of the producer price impact going forward in 2022, which should be a good indicator that the CPI should fall as well. So in conclusion, we believe that demand is here to stay. Contractors agree as well as the housing market index is well over 80 in the month of October. September stats and trends tell us people are okay with timelines and delays, and we should see some producer price index softening as the world comes back online from COVID and some of the extreme weather that led to some unexpected supply side issues earlier in 2020. Until then, we'll see you next time.